Good evening. A meeting of Catholic leadership in Baltimore gives the leaders of different dioceses around the country a chance to speak about a number of key issues. Among the subjects, the child abuse crisis and how to deal with the fallout. It's new at 10 o'clock. Fox 66's Saida Abbas got reaction tonight from a survivor and from the current bishop regarding former bishop Donald Troutman's comments. Saida. Sean, the different perspectives came to the forefront at that conference held in Baltimore. Erie's former bishop Donald Troutman was outspoken at that conference questioning the attorney. Over the last week, the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops convened in Baltimore. Among them, former Erie Bishop Donald W. Troutman. As bishops exchanged ideas about ending child abuse, Troutman questioned reports like the one released by Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro and the media. We should not be so naive as to accept every government report, every attorney general report as being totally accurate or honest. Mm -hmm. And I would not cite the Philadelphia Inquirer or the Boston Globe as sources of confident mm -hmm. information. The Pennsylvania Attorney General August Grand Jury Report on Clergy Abuse found that Troutman failed to remove an abusive priest. Current Bishop Lawrence Persico has publicly been supportive of survivors and victims of sexual abuse. He was in the room when Troutman made his comments. People just have to understand who the Bishop of Erie is. Bishop Troutman is retired. He has, he doesn't represent the diocese, so what he's doing is giving his personal opinion. Survivor of priest sexual abuse Jim Mansicle was upset after he read Troutman's remarks. David Polson being my predator, uh, Polson admitted to him that he had uh, sexual uh, interests in young boys and uh, uh, Bishop Troutman put him back into his parish. Both Bishop Lawrence Persico and survivors Jim Vansicle believe that people will continue to come forward and it's important that transparency be key. Sean? All right, Saida Abbas reporting in the control room tonight. Thanks.